and welcome back to Circuit the World. My name's Alice and today we are opening April's Drive Crate box. Um, I believe it's the Miami theme for the Miami Grand Prix. Um, so let's just get on inside it and take a look. Now, as I'm doing this, I just want to say Drive Crate's prices have gone up. Not for this box, but for next month's box, which, I mean, I don't get it. And hopefully it makes sense when next month's box comes. But I just wanted to say something because they hid it in their email it was right at the bottom i didn't notice it when i first um received the email i only noticed it because a friend told me about it so just so you're aware the price has gone up for may uh, at the time of this going out and having been recorded you'll have already been charged for may which is now 35 pounds per month rather than 30. um we will see next month if it's worth it. They're basically, their justification on it is that there's now 2022 merch in there um, and that it's supposedly going to be better quality, hopefully. Um, but as you guys know, if you've been watching these, the first few boxes this month haven't been amazing. So let's see if this one is continuing in the step in the right direction we had in March. And then let's see next month if the five pound increase is worth it or if it's just an increase. Anyway, without further ado, I will ha let you have a look inside. Ba -ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. It feels heavier this time. Ooh, the hell is that? All right, let's have a <laughs> let's have a gander in here and see what the hell is is going on. The book is actually squashed down the side here. Not sure about my opinions on that, but. It is not laid on the top like normal, but yes, as I mentioned, this other side, this book box for April is for the Miami Grand Prix. We'll have a look in that, maybe, if I can flan it out at the end. Right here on the top, we have this little print. It is Charles Leclerc's car? Yeah, 16. Um, it doesn't really have any information on this or why I have it. It's a photograph. Um... Yeah, that is what it is. Okay, Australian F1 photographer Kim Ilman produces a range of stunning hard copy F1 photo books. So maybe this is a picture. I don't know, maybe it's an exclusive picture. Importantly, this is new. Um, so this is a new third party that we're working with now with Drive Crate. So that's interesting. Um, okay, what is this little thing? Oh, <gasps> across the line! It's back! What is happening? Is it back or is this... Oh, look at that! That's new. Exclusive to Drive Crate. This is really cool. Are across the line back? Is that what this means? I don't understand. <laughs> We're very excited if across the line are back. They have some very cool products. This is really cool that it's exclusive. Obviously, exclusivity means people want to get your boxes. This is, well, I thought it was cool packaging. I thought it was just going to slide out, but it's not. But still, that is very cool. I don't know what car it is. I think it's just generic. Um, but I, again, across the line, I've got it down with the backing board, making it look so good. Even if I move it, you can still see the, the steering wheel on the backing board. Absolutely love that. Very happy to see across the line back in the box. Hopefully that means that they're back. So I think I'll just go with this now because this is obviously our merch for this month, which is a Mercedes mug with a cool kind of, I don't know, scribble print on it. Um, so that's cool, nice mug. Always love a good mug. We are going to leave the socks till last. We'll have a look at Mike and Ike Mega Mix Sour. What the hell are these? Chewy assorted sour fruit flavored candies. Sour zapping apple, sour slamming strawberry, sour screaming cherry, sour juicy lemon. Sour Green Limeade, Sour Pucker Punch, no idea what flavour that is. Sour Power Pineapple, Sour Watermelon Wipeout, Sour Grape Soda, and Sour Shocking Raspberry. How do we reckon push here to open? That'll be how we open these. Of course I will try one for you, maybe two. So it's just a push, oh, okay, they're all just in there. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Can I show you? Yeah, you can just about see them. There they are. They're all different colours, so we'll try them. The green one. Mm. One thing I felt I really can rely on with American candies is when they say sour, they mean sour. That's not that sour. So that was the zapping apple, I guess. This one 
Maybe it's our pucker punch, the one we don't know what the flavor is. Let's have a look. All right, it's like a tropical flavor. They're not that sour. If I'm being honest. I'm disappointed by the lack of sourness. They're a little sharp, but that's it. I'm not sour. I think it's some pineapple. That is lemon and not sour at all. And this is cherry or raspberry. Cherry. Mm. They're gluten free and fat free though, so that's good, isn't it? Next we have Hershey's Cookie and Cream. This is feeling familiar. I definitely haven't had the Mike and Ikes before. I feel like I might have had this before in another box. If I have, I'm going to put the clip here of me having it. Wow, amazing. Let's have another taste. Because I feel like I've had Hershey's, but I don't have had this Hershey's. Maybe it's birthday cake or something. Hershey's chocolate. No offense to anyone who likes it, but not normally the best chocolate in the world. So let's have a gander. Smells good. White chocolate with, um, what is it? Cookies and cream. So I guess bits of Oreo, maybe and bits of biscuit. Okay, I guess I'm eating three blocks of this. It smells like white chocolate. The biscuit flavor comes through more than the chocolate flavor, which is interesting. It's edible. It's nice enough. I'm not mad at it. Last product. Soggies. So these are more Drive Crate Originals. Do always love to see a Drive Crate Original in the box. Um, they've got like a, I guess the Miami skyline on the bottom. And then across the top or the middle, it says Miami. Yay. And then it's got this checkered flag effect at the top. <laughs> I'm not this flexible. They're gonna be a bit big. They're always a bit big for me um, in terms of the the socks, but I still have them and wear them. They look massive, but maybe looks can be deceiving. It feels like we've got more products this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. We just have six. It felt like there were seven. Could be going mad. Let's have a look. Let's see what was in the box. So in the Miami April box, we had official Mercedes graffiti mug. Featuring the team's new graffiti pattern, this official team item is the perfect way to show your support for the eight time champions. How do you think the Silver Arrows will perform in Miami? Drive Crate Original Miami Socks. Miami is a city of bold and vibrant colors. These socks are a great way to celebrate the latest addition to the calendar. You'll definitely stand out from the crowd wearing these. Across the line, wheel pin. Exclusive to Drive Crate, this awesome enamel pin captures the complexity of a modern steering wheel in great detail. Perfect to add to your collection or attach to your backpack. Mike and Ike and Hershey's candy. These sweet and chewy candies provide a true taste of the United States. Hershey's have also been making delicious American chocolate since 1894. And finally, Kim Ilman print. This great print by Australian F1 photographer Kim Ilman captures Charles Leclerc in his Ferrari F1-75. Still don't really get the photo print, but other things in the book we have. Oh wait, there's probably a did you know at the beginning. There is. Did you know over 75 potential locations were considered for the race? One was to have a track run through the Port Miami tunnel. Did you know that guys? So here is that page in case anyone wants to pause and read. I'll try and be still. And then moving through the book as we do. Oh, I've gone very red. The Sunshine State and Conquering the USA. Again, we will do the page pose for you to have a little read. Pause if you wish to read them. Apologies, my book is very curved. In fact, it is. That's unreadable. There we go. And uh, did you know, Miami is no stranger to top flight motorsport. Held, held on a banked oval course made of wooden planks, the first race to be called the Miami GP took place in 1926 before the track was destroyed by a hurricane seven months later. 
And on the back pages, we've got a nice image page. Is that another did you know? Nope. The new temporary circuit has been designed to have a permanent feel. I'm not sure they achieved that. But there's some nice pictures of the racetrack there. And then also the circuit layout with some distance and circuit stats. Um, in terms of steps in the right direction, I feel like they're, they're nailing it on themes right now. Because they're doing the one thing I always said they needed to do. Which was focus the boxes on one circuit um again it just feels more complete we had that last time as well um with the i can't remember what race it was now but it was a single circuit box i remember thinking it's a single circuit box um which does just help make everything feel like it's not half connected oh it was australia was the last one we had um really like that so i think in terms of the theme they're nailing it i feel like in terms of the content this feels better and it may be disillusioning because the mug box is so big but it just feels like i got more even though i've, I've still only got the six products one two three four five six yeah there's still only six products but it feels it feels fuller it feels better it feels more worth the money you're paying now again i've said this before we have to remember that just by including the merchandise they include they are making the boxes more value for money than you pay for them so in terms of that even the ones we've had in the past that haven't been great caps are like 20 25 30 quid depending on what year it is um so by the time you've added everything else in, but even before the price raised to 35 quid, the 30 quid boxes we have been receiving have been value for money. They just haven't felt like it. And that's the difference this time. I'm not super happy with the fact that this got squished in the side. Uh, I'd have preferred that to be nicely laid on top as it normally is. But I think the variety of products is cool. I like, obviously, the Drive Crate Originals, easy. I love the fact Across the Line seems to be back with a Drive Crate exclusive absolutely love that and i certainly feel like if they can do more things like that you again the exclusivity the things you can't get anywhere else it just again adds more worth in fact i'm going to quickly google across the line i don't know it doesn't feel like they're back so i don't know whether the across the line pin is something that they've had for a while and just not put in the box it's still a bit confusing with across the line but it is a lovely to see them back in the box um we'll see if i know next month's box is based on the monaco grand prix so again really happy to hear that they're focusing on one circuit we will be critical to see if that five pound increase is justified um also just going to remind that that was hidden quite deep in the email it was right at the bottom past the preview and the written out preview of what the next box was going to be so to a point where i saw the next week the next month's theme and stopped reading the email and i'm pretty confident i'm not alone in that so i'm a little bit disappointed with the kind of sly way that was added into the email i'd have preferred that to be at the top because it is a thing it is a big thing to make a, a kind of a song and a dance about and hiding it or putting it in that way makes it feels like it was hidden it feels like they're getting back in the groove seeing things like um kim illman's photograph which is albeit slightly confusing but you know i mean it didn't really have a miami well the miami link being he was championship leader going into this race um but at least we're seeing new names i think that's important that means new companies are on board you've got promo codes from them which means they're probably a little bit more long-term invested um and stuff but again this this move towards the originals this move towards bringing stuff in-house you don't necessarily have to rely on third party companies delivering a product for you i think is a good move for them i think for the longevity of the box however favorites and least favorites i'm gonna have to go with it my favorite is going to be this enamel pin obviously super excited to see an across the line product back in i love the fact that it's exclusive to drive crate and i actually think the pin in itself is super awesome the whole product feels very cool very um high-end i think that's a good definition for it. it's probably not quite what i was going for but it feels very high quality very nice um and it's something i definitely want to find somewhere to display because it's very cool my least favorite and i got nothing wrong with the product itself but it is going to be this photo just because i don't get it i feel like it's uh it's it's it feels like it's hinging a lot more on go get the book um and i would give you the code but i'm pretty confident that the code will have expired by the time this goes live 
Um, so there's probably no point in giving you the code. If it was like a picture of the Miami circuit or something, that would have made a little bit more sense. So I'm probably, I'm quietly confident considering the back pages, they didn't have access to that prior to um, actually going to the race. Uh, so, you know, it's, it is what it is. And I, I, I don't mind the print. I'm, I'm not mad at it. I really hope the drive crate, especially with this price increase, start enabling people to pick preferences because I now have another Mercedes mug and I'm not a Mercedes fan and I'm not going to use the mug. So it's, it's, oh, it kind of reverts back to that. This is the value of the box. Um, and if it's something I don't want or I'm not going to use, it's quickly losing some of its value and they are the most valuable things in the box. So I do hope with this price increase, I know there was chatter about 18 months ago, I was, I was having good conversations with them and they were saying they plan to bring something in. But I feel like they've gone through a rocky patch recently, which is why we've been seeing what we've been seeing. So hopefully that's something that we can hear about soon and that they'll bring in. Um, so this, this can be... A little bit more customizable i feel better much better about this one than i have of any of the other boxes this year it feels more full it feels more value for money um and we will see if that lasts going into may for the monaco box which does as i will reiterate have a five pound increase the subscription for drive crate boxes are now 35 pounds a month not 30. Hopefully that's a justified rise and hopefully next month I'll be singing their praises again. This is a good box. I'm happy with this box. Um, and I like the fact that they are going with single circuits thus far. So we shall see. But if you received this box, do let me know what you thought down in the coffee pot below. Let me know your favorites. Let me know your least favorites. Let me know if you feel like this is a move in the right direction and kind of carrying on from the box we had last month, if it feels good. Or if you feel slightly peeved that they've upped the money again off the back of some pretty pretty bad boxes um just let me know all your thoughts feelings and opinions and everything down in the coffee pot below and we will definitely continue the conversation down there there'll be a link to the websites to the other products in this box in the description box as well as some information of if you are interested in getting this description where you can find all that stuff but for now thank you so much for hanging out with me today it's been an absolute blast as always if you enjoyed this video go show that like button some good old-fashioned love and if you want to support the channel go hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss next time i upload a video stay awesome and i will see you all changing the outro slash intro just in general just i've been doing it for a while it's the same thing it's been the same thing since the start of the channel let me know your thoughts